All right, I just wanted to um, throw something up here really quick, uh, just so I can kind of uh, go through the motions of uh, the entry process, right, of, uh, of entering. I know I did a video yesterday of when to enter, right, um, and uh, I think uh, I think, I think I did a fairly good job of entering this. You know, I, I did it uh, on TradingView um, with, uh, you know, the paper money thing. So here, why am I just talking about it? Why don't I just actually do it instead? So uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and transition over. All right. So, um, of course, I got the price of uh, Bitcoin down there, you know, still having around 29. But uh, looking at uh, Ethereum here. Um, I did this with uh, the paper money thing and you know like I was talking about what I did here right so first I want to show you my my thought process of going into this right so we had the equal highs remember and I told you it was gonna get above it did and then uh, I was thinking that my you know I said it would probably drop back down to well I think I think I was saying it would drop down to like 715 or something like that and it you know and then it would get higher it did um, and then all this just happened uh, since the video yesterday and uh, it, you know it had quite quite the drop um, yesterday it looked like around uh, seven o'clock or so came back up but here you know I'm noticing equal high it, we had a run on liquidity right so anybody that was short here or was gonna go short spiked up to take them out right so in case you were especially if you look at something like you know like a RSI or something and you're going off of this right here right and you're saying man it's oversold and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and sell you know, the, this is how these things can, can become dangerous, right? Or you see something like this, right? And uh, maybe you're thinking it's just going to pump and you, you want to buy more because the MACD is showing that, you know, the... Jeez, uh, uh, the momentum is just going to go up. So instead, you know, you're looking at one or the other, right? And it's in right here, you're getting the fear, right? You know, the FOMO. And so you either do one of two things, you put in a long position right at the very top, right? And then, you know, you're kind of stuck because, uh, or you buy at the very top and uh, it doesn't work out for you. Um, or you put in a short position, you know, right here and uh, you don't think it's gonna get much higher. So you just put a, you know, really, well, that didn't work out that well. Um, you, know, you throw in a short position uh, because right there is where it starts getting oversold and uh, you don't think it's going to get that much higher or you don't have that much money to play with in the first place so um, you know you go from you know 75 to 79 or even you know maybe even uh, 76 I think it's where it got to is 76 so well, just, I don't know we'll throw it just a little bit below um, or you know if we get into this a little bit closer uh you see that little dip right there and you say you know you buy the dip or you uh you're starting to sell because you're starting to chase it because you think it's already the high and uh you place your your stop loss just above you know that little wick right there i mean personally that that's what i would do if i, if I had no clue we you know what i was doing um you know, then all of a sudden you see you're, you're chasing the sell, and then it sells, and boom, it goes right up through there. Now you just lost your money, and what does it do? It sells off, uh, and now you don't want to chase it anymore because it sold off. So, but anyways, I'm it's neither here nor there. Uh, what did happen is that we do have, uh, you know, it did sell quite a bit. It came back down to um, looks like this kind of same area as it, you know, kind of supportish area that it hit it last time. Um, so that would tell me, you know, we, you, you're looking at two things right now. Well, with 
not so much with it happening right then, but uh, looking at two things, right? So with this dropping off, you'd have area liquidity above, right? Then you also have area liquidity below because you have equal lows. So right now I'm looking at this, I'm going, I'm not for sure which one it is. Uh, I'm personally thinking after seeing this, and you know, even even if I didn't have seen this first, I would have thought it would go below it before it went above. And the reason I would think it would go below it is because of this spike in liquidity taking anybody out that was going to be selling because it looks like it's probably going to be going down a little bit further, right? Um, so that would be my initial thought. Even though there is that area of liquidity above, it looks like it is going higher. My personal thought would I I wasn't going to personally place anything on it um, until uh, I you know in, until I see it either make another high above this or at least you know get below these equal lows take out this liquidity so instead what it does is it takes out th these equal lows right for this liquidity um, you know, bounces off an order block and then uh, comes back up bounces off it's almost the same order block comes back up bounces off the same water block. Now we have an area of displacement, right? Now we have a big area of displacement, but it comes back down, right? It settles on one of them. So it would have been uh, a couple different things that could happen, right? Um, so here was the first one. You have this, uh, uh, I'm in the five minute chart. And this is why I look like looking at the five minute chart because it'll give you a lot of good information. Um, so you see it go sideways here so it comes back down to this area to where this candle is right wicked up came down went back up so where that the body of it, the volume of most of that was inside of this area as well so it can't comes down inside of this area moves up right so not only does it break it it takes this liquidity out below here right makes a new high makes another high now I'm thinking okay now we're gonna be heading north so now I waited until it came back down and uh, it hit uh, another mm, I mean it's kind of an even area of displacement but uh, I waited down wait till it got down to here and as you can see um, with this right here um, this is where I placed my order so as soon as it dropped down to this area I did place my order and I also did the same thing in real life um, and uh, now I am thinking that it is on its way north and it should get above uh, it should get above this this area of liquidity I have it set at 759 um, I'm, th I'm thinking it'll get higher uh, but you know uh, to play it safe um, I would honestly maybe lower it to about 757 but uh i put it at 759 and uh, we're at 737 now and uh, we shall see what happens so um that's all i got for this right now just wanted to do a short video and uh, i'll probably come back um and let you know what happens when you know something does um the only thing i am fearing if i am fearing anything uh is that you know, I did put the stop loss, um, you know, down below here, but you know, should probably put it below this wick, but I'm putting it, actually I should probably put it below this wick, because if it drops down below this wick, it's more than likely going to continue going down, um, because it's going to try to take out the other liquidities below it as well, um, so you don't want to risk more than what you have to, but the only thing, the only thing I fear is that it does drop down quite a bit, um, but I don't think it's going to because you see all these candles here, boom, all that goes down, right? Uh, it comes back up above it, it comes back down, hits it, and then it goes back up. So right here is your, you know, your mitigation area because it's already, remit you know, mitigation one, mitigation two, right? And then now we're at mitigation three and four is where I entered. So, um now i'm just waiting to see and hope that it gets above this next high and uh we'll see what happens after that so 
Um, that's all I got for this. Just wanted to share that with you, and uh, I'll be back when uh, we see more happen. All right. Thanks, and wear your pants. Any advice or information on this website is general advice only. It does not take into account your personal circumstances. Please do not trade or invest based solely on this information. By viewing any material or using the information within this site, you agree that it is a general education material and you will not hold any person or entity responsible for loss or damages resulting from the content or general advice provided here by Bodies and Wicks. Its employees, directors, or fellow members, futures, options, and spot currency trading have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risk and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the futures and options markets, as well as Forex. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. This website is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy, sell, trade, futures, spot forex, CFDs, options, or other financial products. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed in any material on this website. The past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results.